This is a 360 video. Look around. If you're on desktop, make sure you're in Google Chrome and use the W, A, S, and D keys on your keyboard or click and drag with your mouse. If you're on mobile, make sure you're in the YouTube app and swipe or move your phone. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Adore Me. I'm Sebastian and this is Lying for Money, Game 21. Sudden Death. Allow me to welcome back Steven. Jonathan. And allow me to welcome our rookie, Ryan. In this bag, I have three cut up pieces of playing cards. Two of them, they are all threes. Two of them are hearts and one of them is a spade. If you get the hearts, you are a seeker. If you get the spade, you are the liar. Please do not look at the card until I tell everyone to do so. All right, everyone, please look at your card, put on your mask, and stick out your fist. If you would like the $10 cash prize divided equally amongst all of you right now, please lift your thumb and keep it in the air. Masks off. One vote from Steven. Cash prize for the winners. Game on. I always vote for the cash prize to be even. Oh yeah? Always. That's good. It's good. I just, equity, it's called, I guess. <laughs> you know? Well, there's some people, I guess some people say equity, like let's, let's all be fair and let's all have money. I'm more like, well, the odds are that like, well, even if I'm the liar, if I was a liar or if I'm the seeker, like, I'd rather play the odds of being, having, walking away with some money than losing all of it. It's ethical, I mean, 350 each. <laughs> I mean, it definitely bought like a dollar pizza down the street, so no, That's true, no, that's so. true. <laughs> I felt like we did it the first time, so it was like the second time. Let's try it different, but I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to establish that I play the same game every, every time. So that way I can eventually fool myself for that one, that one time that I end up being the liar and it's like, no, he's still the same. Like, I, I think if Steven would, was the liar, he would be different. And I was like, <laughs> and he's like, yes, I fooled them. And then that'll be the one time I don't vote for <laughs> all money. That'll be my tell. I, pr I promise I'll for everyone that. that when I'm the liar, I will not vote to spread the money equally. <laughs> that the first time, and then if I'm the liar again, then like it's all it's a new game, it's a new world. A very honest liar. That's all that it could be. <laughs> so just don't ask me about the liar because I'd be like, no, there's no such thing. <laughs> well, we're, break, just, we're breaking uh, boundaries and barriers for this game. <laughs> yeah. I like to think. I just I think I'd like to think of it as prevaricating. You know, I'm just using the truth against you. I'm not lying. I'm just like telling you the truth, but not the whole truth. Some of the truth. Steven, bring in that pre-truth. Oh. Pre-truth. <laughs> pre-truth. <laughs> this is prompt time lying. <laughs> <laughs> what's drink too. So how have you been? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Nice. So I'm at the disadvantage fun. because these two are brothers and they should know each other very well. Which should mean that I should be at the advantage if I can figure out which one of them is telling the truth, the other one knows who's lying. Or should know by now. Hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> one of them should be very easily like, yeah, I've seen that face before. It's him. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> The 
this is fine. And the disadvantage would be if the other one convinces, like last game, saying, it's him now, it's Steven. Then it's like, <laughs> it's that brotherly love, I can't fight it. I just, yeah, I'm waiting for that to happen again. For an accuser. To start accusing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know you. You're not, I, know I feel you're like you're not trying to accuse anyone, you? but I don't know. But you are. You're quiet. You sit back and wait. I do the same thing you've been doing. Is I do like to read it out. But at the same time, this is a social circle. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean, you seem calmer this time. But exactly, I feel like I'm... <laughs> The drinking helps, and having something in your hand, I guess, helps too, to keep you like... Something to keep you busy, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's what they told me last game, or last week. Or something. Last man, week. Man, you need to, you're like, you're so nervous, you need to chill out, man. Because <laughs> you just look like the liar all the time. So, like, I know, I just can't help it. So, there we go, there we go. <laughs> just trying to keep busy. Yeah. <laughs> so, now I have something else to do. Hey, works. Morning breakfast. So. This time you seem a little more relaxed though, but you've been drinking the bottle again. And you, I feel I like you're seen hard you to tell. Forever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is I the first time know. I saw my brother in what a month and a half since Christmas or some shit. Since New Year's. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Since that altercation. <laughs> Your roommate. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Crazy times. <laughs> I live with a psycho, and I. Whatever. You were right though about him. You can read people well. Oh, I have so many stories to tell you. Actually, there's so bad. many stories. <laughs> he was like, "This isn't good." No, I'm just like, like I want to know. <laughs> it's not that kind of show, guys. <laughs> damn, it's like, damn, I want to know. I feel like you don't accuse either, though. Which is gonna make this like a long way. Who, that I don't accuse? You don't really... You're not really one to come forward right away. And I don't know yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know. But I, yeah, I'm usually not the accuser. This guy's hard to read, I feel like. But he's, I feel like you're different this time. But then I feel like I'm different this time too, so. It's a new game, it's the second th round, and now it's like... Fuck. And then you're, I feel yeah, like you're the hardest game. to read, but you should be the easiest because you're the, my little brother. You seem very calm though. I know, but I deal with the police a lot. <laughs> 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 so. It's like, man, interrogation, that's myself. my shit. I eat that it's like a graffiti. <laughs> I wish I would have had some of that today. <laughs> man. It's out of nowhere during the trial when I'm like, uh, would you like to provide testimony? Lawyer. <laughs> Please. All right. Fit. And then my rights. <laughs> just stand fit. there. I'm like, you. it's not and real. And my rights. Am I under arrest? No. Then I'm just going to leave. Thank you very much. I you see my sure. lawyer. <laughs> did you see the Martin, uh, that guy that did the drug thing? He went on trial recently. <laughs> he did the plead the shit thing. And like, Shkregel or super, Shkreli or whatever his name is. Dude. That yeah. fucking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> he looked, yeah, he was being a douchebag. Ah, oh, but he camera. was. He, I mean, he tell. was a douchebag and then like he was oh, yeah. a douchebag on <laughs> he camera. <is. laughs> He's like, oh my God. I just like, again, I was telling, I was telling Matt in the what car. What is this? I don't like, think I watched this. The guy who bought the rights to the... It's a thing that's like, we used to be $7 for AIDS patients to get their pills. Yeah, and they, so they jacked the price up? And he jacked it up to $700 or something. Yeah, so like douchebag <laughs> He's of the on year. trial. He was on trial. <laughs> and then and he's being um, a scumbag. he got he arrested like, for a Ponzi scheme. So not even for the like... And he bought the Wu-Tang album for like $12 million or something. <laughs> yeah, like the, the Wu-Tang album that was never released. And check this out too. Are you uh, serious? Bill Murray made a deal with the Wu-Tang Clan, check what? this out, that in the contract it specifically says that they are not responsible for this guy losing the album if it gets stolen. Oh shit. It's in the contract that <laughs> Bill Murray and the Wu-Tang Clan will come back and steal their shit back 
And that's he it, can't right? say anything. Wow. That's awesome. He also tried to get Ghostface killed. Yeah, but once you have him. it in your possession, unless they take it like a block away, then you can record it. You can have all this other stuff. I mean, I feel like. But yeah, they went, he went to court like a few days ago. I don't know. I got to watch this, actually. Anyway. Oh my God, Everyone knows know. about it but me, apparently. I've been sick for four days. So I'm coming artist. off from a cold. That's why I sound weird. Oh, yeah. I've been really messed up, actually. <clears throat> a diarrhea. <laughs> fucking throwing up. Pimples in places. Oh. God, some weird <laughs> stuff, man. We're not recording right now, right? We're not recording right now, right? That was that ugly. Oh my god, I know that feeling. It's like, oh yeah, he's like, oh I know, I know. Places like, oh god, like I know. Lying for money, not honesty for nothing. (laughs) Honesty for nothing. Yeah. No, I'm just lying, guys. I'm just lying. This is just straight up lying. I just throw money at you. False ones. Some people dance for money. I just lie. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're so handsome. Nobody's nominated anyone yet? So tell us. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know you, so it's weird. You guys are liking each other a bit much. <laughs> yeah, too much of a bromance going on. Does he tell me a lot? <laughs> yeah, the lie before with you guys earlier was a good idea. But I know you. So anything you tell me, I'll just understand. Like, I'll know it's a lie and it's not. And I guess it's good for him. <laughs> And you, so fuck, you, faked, yeah, yeah. you really faked me out the other he just the game before. You out. He faked you out. Like I was just telling the truth. There was no faking. It was just like being. I got. Secret. I got you on Snapchat. It's some <laughs> mystical face looking like you might have done something, and then it turns out you're fine. <laughs> what are you <laughs> When you got a cue, you what got were you talking about those San Francisco like, cookies you brought back, dude? Oh you no, not today. Oh, okay. Yesterday I went to the bank and ate them before and left my phone on the floor in the bank and got it. No, back wait, to wait, I'm life. sorry, I steered you off topic. We were back on you. <laughs> so funny because I was saying you were playing such a different game. Oh yeah. This time. Yes. I am, I am. The question is, is that tactical or are the similarities the same? I I feel like I'm playing the same game, but I'm definitely trying to play it a little more, like not give myself up yet either, like where, I, where I'm at as much, like ever, because I felt like you guys both had me kind of last time. Like you both had me and I wasn't sure. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but I definitely, I feel like you're playing also like a calmer demeanor, my brother, My brother's playing very cool, but he's he's a weird breed too. He's a very quiet guy. He sits back and waits till the end. Okay, so so I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna throw this out there again because this was my this was key for me. I know I'm not the liar. Okay, I know I it's very easy for me to tell. Do you know you're not the liar? Oh, I know I'm not the liar. Again. So. <laughs> it's easy for you to can say, I, but harder for us to judge. Best. You said it was two hearts mm-hmm. and then a spade. One spade. One spade. So there are two hearts. <laughs> and two one hearts. spade. One spade. And I know what I've got. So I've got a heart. Okay. Yeah. I've got I a know. heart. I know, I know what I have, and I think I, I think I don't know. I know what I have. Somebody's shaking their leg. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm saying it, it doesn't work this as well as round. <laughs> it doesn't okay, work. I've got well hard. Hard. two hearts in a deck. Who are the th- okay. two, three of hearts in a deck? There should so be I one. know what I have. <laughs> there should only be one. There should be. Hearts, no, diamonds. No, it's, it's, it's a card cut in half. Yeah. It's See, last round. It was aces and jacks. It was, he had three different cards. And that's what it was. So I uh, knew that I that? had a spade. There's, al- there's always one card that's the same. 
Yeah, I have, but I have last round, card. I think last round there was. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no, no. There was, de- there was definitely <laughs> one card that was the same. <laughs> you see, here I was. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the ace. Right yeah, so the ace was the same. But, yeah, like, yeah. I guess I thought. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know why I thought that you had. So it's two hearts and one spade, or two spades and one heart? Two hearts and one spade. <laughs> I ruined it. Well, I'm not the liar. I know what I have. I have one heart. And I'm pretty sure that's what I have in my pocket. <laughs> For the last time I checked after the shots. <laughs> you better <laughs> check oh. again, dude. But yeah, I'm just, good. If you check, just make sure it doesn't show up on camera. Make sure they don't see it either. Well, that would change everything. Oh, okay. It does change everything. Which pocket did I put this in? <laughs> or am I still sitting on it? <laughs> as, he, as he topples over. It's like, let me just check. Now it's just between you guys. <laughs> you don't know either what you've had? Oh, no, I do. But now I've got, because, because it's the same card, that means, before I check, because I will go through my pocket and check, that means that <laughs> I have one half of the card. So the other person has, it's, if it's a three of hearts, the other person has either the top half or the bottom half. Mm-hmm. So that means that there is, I know which half I have. So if I ask you which half you have, without telling which half I have, if you say the same one. <laughs> ah, that is very clever, man. man. That will work. Hmm. Oh wait, would that work? It would, because in, in a sense, if you guys are there, top halves to cards. Yeah, it's a three of when hearts. That's, that's a very hearts, ethical when method. When <laughs> what is that cheating? When they're truthful odd. way to that's do. What them. I handed out. Shame on me for handing them out like that. But if you really want to go this route, <laughs> I nominate Ryan. You nominate? Yes. All right. Stephen has nominated Ryan. Stephen. And I'll tell you why, because. I don't even know which I I know which card I have. It's the three of hearts, but I don't know which half I have. And Jonathan wanted to check and see, and he didn't look away from me while I was explaining it. But Ryan, when I was trying to tell this theory, on in my book, it would gave me the, the oh shit face. Which half do I have, or which half should I say? How can I work this out in my favor? So, I think it's Ryan. Is that all? That is all. <laughs> all right, John. Would you like to add anything about Ryan? I'd say he's so hard to read. He's so quiet, but his face lit up when you said that. <laughs> so, yeah, I fucking, I, I, I would definitely agree. Is that all? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, John. Ryan, would you like to defend yourself? Um, I just think that's a hysterical hypothesis on both your points. <laughs> Is that okay? Is that all? That's all right. All right. Everyone, except for Ryan, please put on your mask and stick out your fist. If you would like to eliminate Ryan, please Lift your thumb and keep it in the air now. Masks off. One vote from John. Ryan lives on. So normally I don't vote half-heartedly. But, as I was saying all this stuff, I remembered that I really think it's Jonathan. So, <laughs> I was like, God damn it. I convinced myself in that moment to vote for Ryan, but it's like, God, I, I just got to stick to my gut, which was that I really think it's Jonathan. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I really I do. I think you have no other way out because everyone knows. I really think it's Jonathan. Who it is now. But you see, everyone knows who it is. Who, who is it now? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was Jonathan, but now I'm thinking it's you because you did the accusing. I think so it's not early. him. It's not me. Of course, he's my brother, the and I didn't. That accuses first. <laughs> that's in the wrong. No, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> so. That's how I, I think we know I'm who it is. I think we know who it is. <laughs> so, I before anyone else says it, I nominate Ryan. <laughs> All right, we have another nomination. Steven has nominated Ryan. Steven, you have the floor. Because if I was a liar, then it would have been so easy because I had you convinced to just nominate him and win. But because if if you if the seeker if a seeker goes out, if I'm the liar, then I win. So I didn't vote and you voted. But and he immediately was like, it must be Steven, he's the first person to vote. So the liar is the first, the first person to vote. So I think that I, although I know you were playing a very different game, this game, I am going to go with Ryan based on, based on the facts. Based on what I have rather than what my initial impressions are. And so this is a this is a facts versus gut vote for the first time, and that is all. Thank you. I, I yes, John. Oh no, go ahead. Um, Please. I just have a feeling now, like that. It's it's definitely. I feel like it's you. Like you're trying to get. I know my brother. I feel like I know my brother, and he's definitely. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel like I feel like you're just trying now. I feel like you're trying to uh, save yourself. I feel like you're trying to save yourself. Is that all? But um, we can go. We can go. We can vote. That's all. All right, Ryan. Uh, I think the real question is, who's the other person that has the card that I have the other half of? Because I know what I have. And now it's a scheme. It's a bunch of scheme artists next to me. And I'm trying to figure out who it is. Is it the person that was being smart and saying the same thing I'm saying now about the other top card, half of the card that really does have the other half? Or are they in a hole? <laughs> are they trying to get me down a rabbit hole of something else? Because I know what I have. I know what I have. Please? Is... <laughs> <laughs> no one except the defendant for now. Hmm. Are you done? I'm done. All right. Everyone, except for Ryan, please put on your mask and stick out your fist. If you would like to eliminate Ryan, please lift your thumb and keep it in the air now. Masks off. One vote from Steven. Ryan lives on. Hmm. You guys can put down your face. <laughs> okay. I nominate Steve. All right. Well, it's, yeah, he, he beat you. <laughs> he beat you to it. Please yield the floor to Ryan. Okay. Ryan has nominated Steven. Ryan, you have the floor. Oh, the thing about the top half of the card is very smart, and that would make me feel like, oh, that's my brother's half of the card. Like, we're brothers, or whoever has that other half. But the fact that you brought it up, I don't know how you play is so <laughs> fucking strange. So it, got, it has me all over thinking, but you don't even know what piece of the card you... You don't even know what card you really have, and that's funny to me. And plus, you nominated me. So I'm gonna go right back and fire at you because I said before, the person that accuses somebody is usually in the wrong in some way or they have to overanalyze. So I'm just gonna stick with my, my original gut was different, but I'm staying, I, let's, I'm gonna try it out and say Steve and nominating Steve. Is that all? Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. John, would you like to add anything about Steven? I would say, yeah, at this point, I think, definitely, I think it's Steven. I, I feel like I know it's Steven. Is that all? Yeah. 
All right. Steven, would you like to defend yourself? Yes. Um, I will say that I should have gone with my gut instead of the facts on this one. Because... <laughs> well, my... And before John beat me to the... Um, I was very convinced it was Ryan based on the facts. Based on the facts. But what he said was... He kept saying the top half of the card. And that was like, ah, oh, if I could just find my card, then I will know. Because he said that I don't know which half I have, which is very telling. But now I do know which half I have. So either he is just a fucking gambler and took the risk and said, I have the top half of my card. The other, the seeker must have the bottom half. Please, John. So... <laughs> Either he took that fucking risk and was like, now I have my brother on my side, so I'm going to get Steven out. Or he really does have the top half of the card because I just like the card. And so my defense is that I was wrong. So both of them are looking at their cards right now. So <laughs> my defense is that I was wrong in Bowden Ray and I should have gone with my gut. So, that is my defense. Is that all? Yes. All right. Everyone, except for Steven, please put on your mask and stick out your fist. If you would like to eliminate Steven, please lift your thumb and keep it in the air now. Masks off. One vote from John. Steven lives on. <laughs> um, just throwing something out there, regardless of who said what's top and bottom, if you're really trying to go that route, and I don't even know why I'm helping you right now with this, you gotta decide what is top and bottom, you know? Cause it's just a card cut in half. Like what are you using to... <laughs> I, I'm, let them figure that out. <laughs> I nominate Jonathan. All right. We have a nomination. Steven has nominated John. Steven. All right. Most of the time, excluding this is the first, the, this game was the first exception. I do not vote half-heartedly. I do not vote and then not, I do not nominate and not vote. But I did that intentionally the first time. And so that led me to Ryan because of the way that went. But, like I said, the liar doesn't need to play the long game. The liar will, will just vote out the seeker. He doesn't need to be after, especially in the sudden death, all you need to do is vote out one seeker. So, the first time Ryan voted, I mean, the first time Jonathan voted, the brothers confused me. <laughs> uh, the first time Jonathan voted, I and mean, I didn't vote. The second time, the liar, like I said, does not need to play the long game. And he did not vote. But I think Jonathan was thinking that I wasn't going to vote that round. So he didn't vote, so that way he can get his brother on me. Because his brother voted, you know, nominated me first. So that would mean, hey, I don't blame you. I looked really suspicious in that moment. So he voted, he voted for me, but then his brother did not vote this time and that is because his brother believes me believed me reasonable doubt and so my gut said it was ryan because he was playing such a different game and so as a why I, that is why i am nominating him now and him choosing the top half of the card just really convinced me that i was wrong Facts over gut. Fact to corroborate the gut. And so I am voting for Jonathan. I am done. All right. 
Thank you, Stephen. Ryan, would you like to add anything uh, about John? I don't know about the legalities of the tops and halves cars. It's probably going to be a new rule. But uh, I, if that were the thing, I was totally gambling on that and said I had that half. But then I ended up, oh, I looked at it and I was like, hmm, okay. And my gut feeling was originally John just because of the way he was acting for a few seconds. <laughs> like I saw him and I was like, all right. He's a little sketchy for two seconds, but maybe he's just drinking and like chilling and shaking his legs. But I thought it was him, but then I got accused and I like totally targeted you and they were like, okay, Steve must be in the wrong. But... I'm down for the nomination. And I think I might, like, the culprit could be sitting to the right of me. <laughs> or to the left. Are you but I'm down. Oh, I can't say anything right now? Nope. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. John, defend yourself, if you'd like. I, I mean, if you vote me out, the liar's going to win, whoever it is. I voted for both of you to get out. Like, I voted both because... I figure, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I still don't know who it is now. I feel like you guys are both really good. Is that all, John? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone, except for Jonathan. Please put on your mask and stick out your fist. If you would like to eliminate John. Please lift your thumb and keep it in the air now. Masks off. I'm only counting Stephen's vote. You're too late. Stephen was the only vote. Jonathan lives on. <sighs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> I nominate Jonathan again. <laughs> All right. We have another nomination. Stephen is nominated. Jonathan, Stephen, you have the floor. <laughs> Please respect the floor. I'm sorry. Oh, we're not supposed to do that? Not during your trial. <laughs> Stephen, you have the floor. I say it again because the liar doesn't need to play the long game. So, like, there's no reason not to vote him off because I'm just going to keep... As, if I nominate, I will vote. Except for that one exception, which has happened once. Which is, like... Now, the more I nominate, Jonathan will be less percentage of the time. So. Is that all? That is all. All right. Thank you, Stephen. Sorry, you nominated John, right? Thank you. Ryan. Go I'm going to go with my gut feeling of originally, before I got accused of anything. Okay. I saw a few seconds. <laughs> There was something going on there. I was like, hmm. So I'll stick with that. Is that all? Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. John, defend yourself if you'd like. Uh, let's bring it, guys. Fuck. I think after this, we're going to know. Is that all? <laughs> yeah. All right. Everyone, except for John, please put on your mask and stick out your fist. <laughs> If you would like to eliminate John, please lift your thumb and keep it in the air now. Masks off. Two votes. John, you have been eliminated. Were you the liar? Guys, you made the right choice. I was the liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seekers win. Stephen and Ryan qualify for the inner circle. I'm Sebastian. This is Lying for Money. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Bring your mask, and I'll see you next time. They got me chasing after money that don't exist. Debt, it's on paper. Cats with calculators. Calculate a way to make a real dollar. Off a dollar faker. And you know they say to trust God, he's your maker. What? <laughs>